When most people imagine the surface of the Greenland ice sheet, they picture a vast plain of blowing snow. In fact, it is a very wet ice scape, uh, and it's covered with streams and rivers and gullies all filled with rushing blue water. But the real shocker was that every single one of these rivers abruptly ends in a feature called a moulin, uh, which can be a crack in the ice or a round circular portal in which all of the water flowing through the river penetrates down into the interior of the ice sheet. So what we've learned is that the Greenland ice sheet is, is not a featureless plane of ice, it's more like Swiss cheese, uh, through which this meltwater is able to quickly and rapidly flow over the ice, enter into the ice, and then escape down at the downstream edge to flow to the global ocean. One of the most pressing environmental problems of the decades and centuries ahead is rising global sea level. And one of the leading causes of sea level rise is the melting of ice from glaciers and ice sheets. And Greenland, in particular, is the single largest melting chunk of ice in the world. We know from climate models and weather stations approximately how much melt is being formed on the surface of the ice sheet, but what we don't know is if that water is truly escaping the ice sheet to connect to the ocean and contribute to global sea level rise. So for the past five years, I and my dedicated students have been studying this problem using a combination of satellite remote sensing, using very high resolution military grade imaging systems, uh, as well as intensive field work involving deployment of autonomous drifters and drones, tracking and studying one of the least understood hydrologic systems in the world. What our research shows is there is a clear and definite connection between climatological melting on the top of the ice sheet and the downstream outflow of water to sea level rise and floods uh, in the rivers moving over the Greenland coast. There are two take-home messages from this research. The first is a, the discovery and a new appreciation for how significant these superglacial river networks are for quickly and efficiently removing meltwater off of the surface of the Greenland ice sheet and exporting it to the global ocean. The second is we now know that the fundamental assumption of these models, i.e. meltwater produced on the top contributes to sea level rise at the bottom, is in fact correct. <laughs>